All right, today's demonstration is making a pumpkin for, for out of a pinch pot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start indenting the clay just by pushing into the surface. As I do that, I'm being kind of, you know, being real careful not to push too hard. Sometimes it's really helpful to hold the inside. And what I'm doing is just starting with indentations by pushing into the clay. Another thing that I could do is I could grab one of these tools. This is called a stylus and it's nice and rounded and I can use that to also to indent the clay. Right now, I can see very well that I used a tool on that surface. What I want to do is make it look nice and consistent. So I'm going to go around here. I'm just going to start smoothing towards, uh, I guess, away from the indentation. So it looks natural and it doesn't look like a tool indented it. I want it to look like an actual pumpkin. One of the things that's really helpful whenever you're doing... Um, I guess in trying to mimic an actual object like a pumpkin is to pull a picture up on your computer screen and have that in front of you because as you're looking at that picture, you're more likely to mimic what is actually in a real pumpkin um, and that will help you to model better. So what I'm doing here is just using a little indentation to create some of that texture and what's gonna become the pumpkin. So in several areas around here, that's what I'm gonna see. One thing that you might notice is, gosh, this is gonna be a wide open pumpkin. You may want to make a little lid for it. If that's the case, and you're working on something that you know maybe could use a lid, by all means, you can make one. That could come in another demonstration. Um, but, you know, much as what you're probably, probably going to do is the indentations for the pumpkin go all the way around the edges, and then you can cut out a shape that mimics the shape of that pumpkin, like all of those little edges, and you can make yourself a little lid that has a stem on it too. So now that I'm working on it, I'm like, oh my gosh, now I want to make a pumpkin. So, <laughs> so I'll bet there's a bunch of people in here feeling the same way. So now something else I need to do, I've started indenting it. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to move it to the opposite side, flip it upside down. And I'm also going to do the same kind of detail and make sure that it goes all the way to the bottom. All right, and again, my magic tool for this was a stylus and my hands. I didn't really use anything else in particular. So those little indentations can really make it look realistic. And now I'm going to make pumpkins for the rest of the day. So, all right, that completes our demonstration.